of C2 and uh, this video project is on dynamics of CSDR uh, and the objective of our experiment will be to see the dynamic behavior of CSDR tanks in series and this uh, dynamic behavior will be measured by the uh, change in concentration in CSDR tanks. So to measure the change in concentration we uh, measure the conductivity in each of the CSTR uh, tanks and the CSTR tanks that were used in the experiment was a SOLTEC uh, model EP107 which consisted of three tanks connected in series with some tanks and pumps. So let's move on to what is CSTR tank. CSTR tank is an open system with a continuous uh, flow inlet, reactant and outlet product and it also contains an agitator to ensure complete mixing of the system and uh, these uh, CSTR tanks were developed in order to uh, implement simple cases like no mix system and uh, multi-stage system was carried out in three stages the first stage is where uh, step disturbance was introduced in the CSTR reactor system the step disturbance was introduced in form of NSL solution the step disturbance is where the disturbance is maintained throughout the experiment. The second stage was done by input of pulse disturbance into the CSK reactor system. The first uh, disturbance is where the disturbance is maintained only for a momentary time. The third one was done uh, by pulse uh, input also but uh, this was in conjunction with that time coil. Now we move on to methodology. Hi, very good morning. My name is Kausalia and I'll be talking about the objectives for the experiment. So our first objective is to investigate the step change input and then the second objective is to investigate the pulse input and lastly is to investigate the date time coil. A 14.6 uh, gram of NaCl and measure it inside a beaker. Take 79 liters of distilled water to make 0 0.05 molar of NaCl. NaCl in 500 milliliter of water, distilled water. Seven and uh, close it, and same goes for valve eight. Later, we position valve three so that there is inlet of deionized water into the stirred tank reactor, and finally, for the deionized water to flow, we turn on pump one. And here you can see the tanks are slowly filling up with deionized water. this interval for 60 seconds then over here you on the first pump pump one and then off the pump one and then turn the valve and you run this for 20 sorry 120 seconds for two minutes it's at second minute so we have to off pump B2 Turn the valve and then you want pump B1. <laughs> so that marks the second. So now that the reading has gone steady, so we un un uh, take the auto report, save it into our folder C2 with the name of experiment B. Two minutes we're gonna do. After two minutes of feeding, we open this valve and then we close this two valve. Then see 
The water is coming inside. Let the introduce the pulse change. To introduce the pulse change, we turn off the pump one. Open this valve. Open the pump two. Forty seconds. And start recording using the automatic record. After two minutes of an ACL injection, we have to close the pump. Pump two. Close the pump two. We have this open the pump three and just make the pump turn on the pump one. See, we have achieved the steady state, so we can can we can start recording. Until the auto record, then save. We will save on the name of experiment three A. Save it. Okay. So for experiment three B, firstly we have to click record for the initial, and we insert sixty seconds in interval. Sixty seconds. Then we proceed to close palm one and open the valve three. And we have to click auto record. Then on palm two for the uh, for an ACL to partially enter uh, this tank. You can see that this is partially open. And let an ACL enter the tank for 2 minutes As we can see, we achieved already 2 minutes Then, we have to close uh, We have to close the valve And switch, uh, close pump 2 And switch on pump 1 So, after we complete our experiment 3 part B Close uh, the equipment by turning off pump one, and then the valve. After that, we close the valve V10, and uh, finally we have to ensure that there is no liquid in any of the uh, CST reactor. And for that, uh, we can uh, use valve 13, 12, and 11 to drain of the liquids. As you can see, the liquids are already drained. And this is how we end our experiment. Thank you. Hi, my name is Atika. So we are going to go through the result and discussion for our experiment. The first experiment for experiment A, we investigate the effect of step change on the concentration of sodium chloride. As you can see, the concentration of reactor 1, 2, 3, it increases against the time of, uh, against the time. So, it is because the sodium chloride is continuously supplied. For the second experiment, we investigate the effect of pulse input on sodium chloride solution. So, as you can, uh, from the graph, it increases until a certain time and then it decreases until it becomes constant. It is because we supply sodium chloride until second minutes and then we let the deionized water uh, continually su supply that's why the concentration decreases for the third part we investigate the dead time coil on the, the effect of dead time coil on the concentration of sodium chloride so the dead time we connect the dead time coil with reactor 3 um, we using the pulse, uh, pulse input method so uh, it increase it same go it same with the uh, pass input met, uh, pass input effect it increase until a certain time and decrease uh, decreases until it become constant. In this experiment, uh, in we do the second part, which is we supply partially sodium chloride. So it is actually quite a light graph, but it have a bit fluctuation because. Um, the sodium chloride supply is partial. Is partial. So that's all for our result and discussion. Hi, um, my name is Nurhaifah Nadira binti Muhammad Sabri and now I would like to explain about areas and recommendations for our experiment. 
Firstly, before we start our experiment, make sure that we clean all the salt residue in the reactor. How to clean it is by inserting uh, the ionized water before we start our experiment. Second, we have to make sure when we are conducting this experiment, the water level is below the limit. Make sure that the limit, the, the level of water is not overflow. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> And as for conclusion, we uh, for the effect of step change, we can see that the we can see that the CSTR will achieve a new steady state value as we continue to supply the NSCL solution into the into each uh, CSTR tank. And for the pulse change input, we can see that uh, the reactor will behave will experience uh, a sudden increment due to the temporary injection of NACL into each step of CSTR tank. As for that time call, the graph would give uh, a sudden increment since the temporary injection for about 2 minutes and for the part A and part B, the graph would, would be the same but for the part B, it would give the, a little bit of fluctuations.